Hello all, um, me again. So I've noticed there's been a lot of um, people coming back onto YouTube, which is good. It had gone quite quiet for a little while. Um, I was sort of a bit worried that everyone had completely abandoned it and that was that YouTube uh, pipe community over. But um, no, I've still seen people are coming back to it, which is good. Um, and so I've done a few reviews here and there, but um, yeah, so it's good to see people doing videos and uh, so I've, I've watched them, some of them, and they've been very enjoyable, so I'm glad, glad you're back. Um, got a Yabo here today. Um, I've already had a look inside and removed those horrible little polystyrene nugget things. Don't like them very much. Um, I got it at work and uh, got get delivered at work. And then everyone's like, oh, what's in the parcel? What's in the parcel? So they got nothing, nothing to do but open it. So anyway, moving on. Um, so yes, little parcel of loveliness, invoice. First off is some... Who's is this? McClintock's um, Creme de Cassis, as you can see just there. And God, does this stuff smell lovely. Mmm. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry for the train. That's the tobacco there. This, this is from um, mysmokingshop.co.uk or wherever it is. Uh, this this Yabo, uh, my smoking shop. So um, yeah, so that's come to Cassie. So I got a tin of that. Very nice. I also bought a cigar. I haven't used. I don't usually buy cigars because they're jolly expensive. But here's the one I bought. It's a, a double cor uh, Corona. It's a um, Independencia 1898. As you can see there. Very nice that is as well. I look forward to having that. Mm. Should be quite nice on that, I hope. Um, so I don't smoke cigars very often, but uh, I just fancied one. And whilst I was ordering from, obviously, because uh, uh, Glyn doesn't do cigars on his website, I thought, well, whilst I'm ordering for someone else, I might as well order a cigar. Because um, it's been since my last cigar was in August last year. Yeah, then we're fringe festival, so that was a punch, which was rather nice. Anyway, so that's my cigar. Now, I've also brought a birthday present for a friend of mine, so Matthew. If you're watching, please stop here. You probably isn't, but just to cover myself. Um, I have brought um, a pair of Peterson's pipes, one for me, one for him. Um, we'll have a quick look at them. Um, so these will be our sort of our friendship pipes, as it were, peace pipes, whatever you want to call them. So traditional YouTube. This is the first one. YouTube pipe opening thingy. Yeah, look at that. Very nice that is as well. Peterson's Dracula. This is the right side. The two two one fishtail. That's a two two one. So I'll let him decide which one um, he has. Because uh, it doesn't bother me too much. I like them both. So. Um, so you can decide which ones he wants to keep. There, that's one of the Draculas. There we are, one of the Draculas. And then this is the other Dracula. Let's see then. This is the number three fish tail. This one. Each your pipe said, whoop, there we go. I think I personally prefer this shape to the other one. But as I said, I'll let him decide which one he wants to keep. It's a very nice one, that, as well. So, yeah, I'll have one, he'll have the other. Because um, I said in the end of a fringe, uh, we were both in the play together of uh, Dracula. So I thought it was quite fitting that his first pipe should be a Dracula pipe. Um, I'm also going to do him a... Um, tobacco sample thing, my own sample pack, so um, 
I've got in the starting pack. So I'm going to give him a sample of this creme de cassis. I'm going to give him a sample of Rattray's Bagpiper's Dreams, that's jolly good. A sample of Peterson's Sherlock Holmes and a sample of Peterson's Old Dublin. I think it's probably a good cover. Um, and obviously get him, we'll hopefully start taking on the hobby a bit more. I've also got him a pipe tool, exactly the same as my one. Um, Yeah, I think it is exactly the same as my own. Actually, it's better than my own. Lucky bastard. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, that's all my little parcels. So, cigar, creme de cassis, pipe tool, pipe for me, pipe for a friend. Jolly good. Um, and so, I hope to be, I'm hoping to do a review sometime. It's just not happening. <laughs> I've been busy. Um, I had, I've got old Dublin smoking again, which is good. I had that in my... Um, Lee Van Cleef pipe a few days ago. Uh, that had gone dry, so rehydrated that. That took a few days because I do it in a very slow process of wetting uh, kitchen paper, draping it over like a bowl, and then sort of letting it the tobacco infuse, taking the paper towel off, ruffling the tobacco, putting another paper towel on, wet paper towel, damp paper towel, then letting the tobacco infuse with the water, and then doing it until it's the right moisture content which takes bloody ages and is a real pain in the backside. Um, I really need to sort of learn how to keep my tobaccos properly because uh, my problem is I don't smoke a lot so when I have opened like a tin like this it will last me a year smoking it on and off uh, at least. Um, I mean that old Dublin I've still got half a just over just under half a uh, pouch of that. That's about 25, 34, 35 grams, 30 grams I suppose. Um, that's I bought that last June, so that's over a year. Um, so yes, I got a problem with that, but um, never mind. Um, yeah, so what else have I got what to talk about today? Um, yes, help me speak much. Yes, right. That's what I want to say about what uh, review I wanted to do next. Uh, Fire Dance Flake was the next one I was going to do. Um, doing it in my Canadian pipe. Just matter of getting around to doing it really. Um, so perhaps Friday I might. The thing is though, I've been pestered by my model railway friends to get on with my layout. They've overhounded me. So I need to get on with that really, which is understandable because I keep posting updates saying, oh look at this new loco I brought. Um, not actually getting on with the layout, so um, I should be on top of that. So anyway. I'm going to leave it there because trains are becoming noisy and it's now ten past ten and I want to go to bed and have my cup of tea and then go to bed. Um because I'm very tired at work, which I'm actually really enjoying, so I don't know why I'm complaining about it, I'm not really. Um yeah. Uh British Pipe Smoking Championships before I go. Um I know a lot of people going. I was going to go but I just don't trust trains on Sundays anymore. I've had so much bad luck with Sunday trains that I just don't think it's worthwhile. Uh, so I'll hopefully if it's running the year after 2015, I'll go in 2015, I've decided when I've got my own car and I'll drive up. I'll make a weekend of it, so if it's on the Sunday, I'll go to the Great Central Railway, Nottingham, Loughborough on the Saturday. Or if it is on the Saturday, do that, the train's on the Sunday, so let's make a whole weekend of it. Um, up and up, up the area. So um, yes, that's the plan. Um, so sorry I can't be there this time round. I hope you all have a fantastic time. Um, it does sound really good. I do wish I had a car so I can go up and join you, but uh, alas, no. Um, yeah, so, well, thank you very much for watching and um, leave a comment and I'll, well, nice to have a chat with someone, I think. Anyway, au revoir. <laughs>